Mark James has agreed to stick around, which is which, yeah. what a treat this is. I not, mean, and, and by the way, I'm not going to even charge. Uh, I'm not even going to bill. I'm not I, even going to bill EI. I, this, I, this, this, I tell this you, is you on what, my own. I will buy you a smart water in the little. Uh, oh no, you don't have to. I'm good. Kitchenette I'm, back there. I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm Listen, okay. No, so I'm so. Um, when I came in and I said, I'm going to address some of the stuff that on Twitter earlier uh, that had been going on earlier today. And you're like, I want to stick around. I want to stick around. And it's good because I think yeah. that you have a history of, of what's happening here. And so in case people don't know what I'm talking about, we had uh, Dan Cilio. Dan Cilio on the original WEI schedule was supposed to be doing this shift three to six. I don't know what the, about the schedule. I don't know anything about that. I know that I'm here from 3 to 6. I do know that on Twitter there was a lot of stuff being surfaced from Dan Cilio as it was the other day. Um, one of the things, that, you know, and one of the people who had tweeted this out was Hillary Sargent. We know Hillary, she does a lot of good work, a lot of investigative journalism. But one of the things that she said was, which wasn't true, which was Dan Cilio is another one of WEI's hires. That is inaccurate. Nobody hired Dan Cilio. Dan Cilio has been doing fill-in work sporadically here. Um, and in case people don't know, there was some controversy earlier last week about people surfacing. Uh, Cilio went after Minahan. Then some people on Twitter went back at Cilio, was surfacing some really, really distasteful tweets. Um, so we're not going to ignore that. I mean, we're not, we're, it's just, I, and I don't want to ignore it. I'm not going to make a whole show of it. I might not even make a whole segment out of it, but I do want to address what what happened with Dan Cilio. I will say this. I don't know Dan Cilio. Mark, you do know Dan Cilio. Uh, uh, one second. I, I don't know Dan Cilio at all. I do know this, is that I don't want to be associated with anybody who has those sort of tweets that he put out there before. And really, the tweets even he, that were verified that cost him some jobs previous to this. Now, that was, it's two different sets of tweets here. And the latest tweets, which were homophobic tweets were tweets that, that he said that somebody else tweeted, I guess. I don't know. It, my thing, well, if somebody did that, if somebody did that, then you do whatever you can, whether you have control of the account or not, to delete the tweets. So delete the tweets. So the reason I'm saying this, I just want to go on record, is saying I don't want to be associated with Dan Cilio. I... <laughs> I love working at WEI. I think great things are happening and are going to happen at WEI. And so I don't want, when I see Hillary Sargent saying the WEI made this hire of this guy and you have all these tweets, like, I don't want to be associated with that. I don't. And so that is why I came in here and went on this rant. It's not going to be the whole show, but it would be disingenuous not to address it when it's been all over Twitter. And I want to once again say, hey, listen, I look forward to the next three hours of being on W-E-E-I. I enjoy working here. People like us. They love us. They hate us. They, they might not like us. I don't know. But all I know is that working here, I like working here. I like the way that things are going. I like some of the things that we're doing. It's never perfect. But I like the, the direction we're moving forward. And with Dan Cilio, that stuff that happened over the last few days that is not something i don't want to I, I want to be associated with it's not something i want to be associated with at all and that is not anything that wei should want linked to them at all because we are moving in the right direction i don't care what some people on twitter say whatever you know and and you know obviously there's been a lot of controversy with kirk minahan and i just talked to kirk the other day i am psyched for kirk I am psyched for Kirk, the opportunity that he's going to get. He's going to go on to do great, great things. And for Dan Cilio to go after Kirk like he did the other day, first of all, it was dumb. Second of all, it was, it was misinformed. Third of all, he was tr clearly just trying to placate what he thought was a, a specific audience, which is probably the people at Intercom. That, which was, it was dumb. It was dumb. And I'm glad people exposed him because it was dumb. It was a dumb way of doing things. And if you do something like this, once again, I don't know him at all, but I will say this. Those tweets were reprehensible. Those tweets were reprehensible, and I don't know. He said that somebody else did them. Somebody else had control of the It's account. a complete lie. Well, it's a total well, lie. Uh, well, okay, Mark, I would ask this. 
How do you not find a way? And then, what are they, five or six years old, something yeah, like that? Yeah. How yeah. do you not find a way so, to delete are, those? Some of them are eight, nine years old. Okay. Yeah, how right, do you, how right. do you find, knowing that they're sitting there, mm-hmm. how do you not find a way to delete those? How do you not do that? And so if you don't do it, I am sorry, these people who are bringing this up, you deserve it. You deserve it. And I don't know what the plan is for Dan Cilio, for him, for the state. I don't know. All I know is that I enjoy working at WEI. I take great pride in working here. I've been here for over 10 years. And that sort of thing, I don't want to be associated with at all. Now, Mark, you worked with him in Tampa. Once again, well, I don't know him. You do. I, I did not actually work with him in Tampa. I was in Tampa when he was there at a different station at WDAE. Um, at, at that time, um, I, I can't say anything. I just know he was on a different station. I know he ended up getting fired from that station for making racist remarks about a couple players that he thought the Bucks should sign. He called them, quote, monkeys on the air. He got fired for those racist comments. He also got fired for anti-Semitic comments. Following that at WQAM in Miami. Uh, His show did a 0.0 last year in San Diego. There was a newspaper article about that for men 25 to 54. Then he calls out Kirk Minahan, who's one of the most talented radio people that, that there ever was, especially in this city. And you look at these, like, Rob... Like, with what you just said, not only do I wholeheartedly concur with everything you just said, I actually asked your um, uh, your, your colleague and my colleague, uh, Alex Reamer, yesterday what he thought because there was some uh, anti-LGBT tweets that were out there that were completely, absolutely heinous and reprehensible. And I said to Alex, I go, how does that make you feel? And Alex goes, I don't think he should do a sh- another show on this station. So I will tell you, Rob, from someone who just did four hours by himself— uh, and someone who certainly would love to go enjoy the uh, beautiful sunny weather that we are having today in the city of Boston and throughout New England, I felt compelled to stay here on for pro bono. I might add, I don't want to. I'm not charged. I don't want you know, anything. This, this ten minutes is pro bono. It's I all, appreciate that. No, I'll stay. I'll I, I know. I know. Stay, I'm joking. I'll, I'll I appreciate you sticking as, around. I, it is a very nice day. <laughs> I, I, wa- I drive by all the people. Boston calling. You know, we see all the people around. We are, for some reason, in a pitch black studio because that's how you like it. But I appreciate you sticking around. Boston Radio Watch tweeted out this week something about him, and I'll just I'll just capture I'll just take this from here. And he said, "This anti-Semitic intolerant goon allowed to be on EI goes beyond failure." And I and I won't go with you know anything more than that. But I, I mean, Hillary Sargent, to her credit, did an excellent job showing these. Absolutely racist, homophobic, um, bigoted tweets that this guy has done. And, and by the way, it's one thing if one tweet gets out there and you say, oh, you know what? That was my proof. Whatever. This has been systemic over a course of like five or six years going back to his days in Tampa when he used the F word referring uh, not the F word, you know, that one, but a different F word, which is something that 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 is a derogatory term towards um, uh, people who are are gay. And, and I, I just I, it's well, me, I'm at a loss for words because the fact that this guy was on to begin with, yeah, I don't but, know why. You know, but- listen, listen, I mean, Mark, there is, I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you with everything you said. It's not your decision. It's not my decision. It is, and in, in, there is an element of, hey, maybe there's a second chance thing going on. I don't know. Third chance, fourth chance. People, but I will say this, is that number one, that you go back to Hillary Sargent, and she did do a good job of surfacing all this because this is what journalism should be about, of mm-hmm. finding out the truth. Mm-hmm. What The one thing that she did get wrong in this tweet is this is the latest intercom WEI hires. Name right. to, we did not hire Dan Cilio. We did not. and I, In fact, he was just fired from an intercom station. None of that matters to me. None of, none of it matters to me. And really, Mark, really, like the fact before this stuff was surfaced, I... It was what it was. It, Dan Cilio was on on the weekends once in a while, at night once in a while, whatever. It's not my deal. It's not my deal. But I do know this, is that when something is brought to light like it was the other day, and we have to, as a group, and you're part of the WEI group too, as a group, be pounded on because of this idiot, and then this idiot, and we're going to talk about leadership a little bit later, but this idiot not taking responsibility for it, this idiot saying, oh, you know what? It was somebody else who tweeted that. Which is a total lie. I don't know. 
I don't know how someone says that where we know how Twitter works. If somebody tweeted that with my name on it, I would first, and I wasn't able to go to the account and, and delete it mm-hmm. myself, right. I would call Twitter. Right, immediately. And, and guess okay, what? Right. You know what they're going to do? They're going to suspend the account and take it down. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. what it is. Well, here, here I, I got to, I, like, listen, there's some of that you can't read on the air. I, I'm going to have to read this one just so, you, so some of the people out there who have no idea what we're talking about, there's a tweet from May 26th. Yeah, don't get too into specifics. It's just, yeah, I just. Okay, can I just read yeah, this one? go ahead. Well, he talks about, the, he talks about Boston. And, and, I mean, he says something here about Boston in, 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 ter- in terms of a, a derogatory term about mentally challenged. And he just says, you mean mentally challenged hospitals. But he doesn't say mentally challenged hospitals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. I mean, Mark, 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 honestly, honestly, you know, like, we've, we can go down okay. a list of 100 of these. And so my overall point is that on this beautiful day where you and I are both here. Yeah. And we're lucky enough to do radio, and I, and I'll say it again. I really enjoy being part of the WEI As family. I do. And so when I see this sort of stuff happening from somebody who is, you know, on the fringe of it, and we're being lumped in, and, like, you have Hillary Sargent saying, you know, we have hired this guy, and I, I don't want to – I want to make it clear that I don't want to be part of an organization that is that is aligning himself with this guy. I don't. But we aren't. That's the point. We are not. And that's why he's not on right now. And we are. And it's, it's the right decision. So, I don't know. I mean, that's that's basically my rant. All I, right. It's not going to be a whole show. Yeah, and, 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 and the one thing, too, that I think is that it, in some of the things in these tweets, if you take out the things that, again, were, uh, you know, the some tweets which were completely, you know, bigoted, racist, anti-Semitic, whatever, he actually calls Boston. I mean, it, the things he says about the city of Boston really pisses me off too. To another thing, and and I, I mean, I you know, it's just like I'm reading a tweet here, but he, this is what he, I, like it's May 27, 2011. Hillary Sargent, you can look at it. I won't. I don't want to say it on the air because it disgusts me so much, but it pisses me off so much that I, I my blood is boiling right now, and it's like. This guy should never be on WEI again. But I, you know, and Mark, really, we go back to what was this? It was Thursday, I think. Yeah. And he went after Kirk. And, you know, if you want to get into a back and forth, whatever. But the fact of the matter, it was so transparent what he was trying to do. It was like Kirk was leaving. Yep. He was leaving Entercom, you know, obviously not on great terms. And so this guy who wants to get a job at Entercom, at one of the Entercom stations, is trying to placate Entercom by going after Kirk. And it was so uneducated and so, uh, to quote a, uh, my great friend Evan, you know, non-nuanced. And it, it was so transparent. And so when you do that, what's going to happen? Well, you are going to be exposed like he was. And when he's exposed like that, then, hey, you know what? Dig in. Because you're going to get rants like we just went on for that last 15 minutes. And I, you know as well as I do, Mark. Like this isn't uh, this is typically I don't go on these sort of rants. No, you do not. This is why it's interesting to see. And another thing you'll learn too, not only to Dan Cilio, but everybody out there, uh, don't bleep with Kirk Minahan and don't mess with the Minna fans because they there are legions of them out there. And listen, they come after me for for no reason, and it is what it is. But I know I'm smart enough to know that. Listen, uh, Kirk w- was a major contributor. I mean, I'll, I said it before. I'll say it again. Losing Kirk Minahan, and I and I hope I wish him nothing but the utmost success, is like Oklahoma City losing Kevin Durant. I mean, he is that big of a star in radio, and and I hope and I really do, and I know he's going to be successful in whatever he does. And I wish he wasn't leaving WEI, but he is. Unfortunately, that being said, you don't come to a city like this, or you're not even in this city. You're somewhere in California, and pick a fight. With a guy who has legions and legions of fans and followers who are maniacal that will basically, and, and they've done the job, and then Hillary Sargent put it down there, and yeah. I'm glad you clarified. He is not a WEI yeah, hire. No, he's not. And, and we're going to, and Kirk's going to go on to do great things, and, you know, we're going to go on to go do great things, and that's the point. That's the whole point of this. And, but you aren't going to be able to do, go, go on to do great things if you're dragged down by, Stuff like this. And that's why I refuse to be dragged down by stuff like this. You do. John Anderson, the producer, like all of us, we won't. Like, we're going in the right direction. Kirk's going in the right direction. Like, this guy, by doing what he did and trying to placate and do this transparent thing about ripping Kirk, like, that, sorry, 
it, unless you're dealing with morons, that is not going in the right direction. It is not. It is not. And I just want to say this, too, um, because I know our boss, Joe Zarbano, takes a lot of grief on cri- and criticism on Twitter. I will tell everybody out there, and you may not want to hear this, but you better listen up and listen quickly. Joe didn't want Kirk to go. Just so you know, like, you know, it's like it's like the same way Billy Donovan didn't want Kevin Durant to leave Oklahoma City. He didn't want him to go. He wanted him to stay here. He was a star. I mean, it was huge ratings. He was a human rating spike. And whether you loved him or you hated Kirk, you wanted to listen to hear what he was going to say next because the guy's freaking fearless and he's a huge radio star. And wherever he goes, it's going to be a huge boost in ratings to wherever he goes. And I, and I, I know he's going to be successful wherever he goes, but... Joe didn't want Kirk to leave. None of us wanted Kirk to leave. Nobody. Because he made the station better. You know it and I know it. Yes. And, I, I, and, 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 and to a point, and I know people don't want to hear this either, Mutt and Jerry and Ken and Curtis did not want Kirk to go. They wanted him to stay. But, you know, we hey, everybody has masters in this business, Rob. We all have to listen to someone. Yeah, and there are higher powers. And I'll say it again. I mean, Kirk's going to go on to do really, really good things. I talked to him the other day. Like, I'm excited about the stuff that he's going to do. It's cool. So uh, so anyway, that's that's that, and uh, we it, it would be disingenuous not to address it because. And I appreciate the fact, that, and, and I'm glad I you and I had an off the air discussion because if you told me you're going to talk about the Red Sox, I probably would have bought. I'm like, you're really going to? I'm like, all right, I want to stick. If you don't, you don't mind me sticking around. I'm going to stick around. Listen, there's there was a reason. There was a reason at three o'clock today that. I'll be perfectly honest, but people probably were going to be tuning in. Because once your show is done, they're going to take off. Uh, exactly. But, <laughs> no, but, no, 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 no. But it's but this is something that, you know, anybody who is on Twitter, anybody who follows this sort of this uh, environment, I guess, this, this industry, they knew that this was a conversation there. So, you know, what am I going to do? I'm going to talk about, the, yeah. oh, my goodness, I can't believe the Red Sox made so many errors last <laughs> night. You know, so anyway, Mark, I appreciate you hanging out. Yeah. And, uh, and um, yeah, no, no, I want, sincerely, go go enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. You sure you don't mean to stick around No, no, nah, nah, man, go enjoy your Memorial Day. It's beautiful out. I hope right. everybody else is. 